acceptable in a sort of camp way, you know. It's, it's uh, acceptable because there are stories and all that sort of stuff. Um, however, the book that I'm saddled with um, has none of that. Uh, Jamie had uh, some, <coughs> after, after the sort of collapse of porn, those sort of movies, you know, that were actually made on budgets, he started, he came up with this great idea that has since been called Gonzo, uh, which is basically he had a camcorder and he knew how to use it, so he would just uh, hire prostitutes in the streets of San Francisco or L.A. and film them just for himself. He would constantly tell the participants, the actresses, that he was just doing it for himself, just to record the sex he was going to, uh, that he needed to pay $200 for. And they were okay with that. But he would look for the sort of dregs, the crack whores, the really cheap sort of low, uh, the more low-level prostitutes, actresses. And, um, and then, charmingly, he would uh, encourage them to let him uh, shit on them. Or do things that were much more uh, typically sort of degrading or debasing or however you want to see it. However, and, and they were very hard to get, pardon? Postmodern. <laughs> it's so not postmodern. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, if you think this is postmodern that you're going to like fucking figure out, like, oh no, you know, I'm just watching it for the tits or for the, you know, I'm telling you it's here. It, it's, uh, there was so much interplay in these films because he, he was, as, as you said, a very intelligent guy. And he was very interested in what was going on in the sort of sex world. He'd been there. He'd been through all this sort of stuff, seen quite a bit. And that ended up with him in an apartment in San Francisco shitting on crack whores. So, um... Basically, he would release these in a sort of very, uh, it was sort of sub rosa sales, very hard to get, way before the internet. And I came up with the like amazing idea, because I like these things so much, to transcribe these things. Because what was interested, what I was interested in wasn't the, um, how people look like they're shit on them. I mean, I am, but I thought, you know, you had to do a lot of work just to masturbate to it. So you had to go through all this conversation. And the conversation was really um, busy. Uh, he was asking a lot of questions about people, like, why are you doing this? Why would you do this? Do you want $5 more to put it in your mouth? And so I transcribed them. And what actually happened after you read it, and that's why it's a book, uh, just of transcripts, is because of his history, it sort of becomes that he's talking to himself. He's been in this world for a long time, and he was sort of using them as almost a conduit for his own self-hatred, his own indulgence. There's a weird sort of part where it's, uh, the pornography actually becomes like this difference between, or the space between indulgence and sort of uh, identification sounds terribly postmodern, but trust me. It's very separate French. <laughs> Pardon? It's very French, you know. French like a blowjob? <laughs> no, 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 no. That's exactly the kind of French intellectual discipline. They would get into American films like that and they do that kind of thing. Yeah, but it's, it's not like, like that sort of structural. I mean, it could be. I don't know. I'm not that fucking trained. Sort of stuff, right? But the, the truth is, is he's just drawing on his own experience so clearly that, that it comes through. And, and the, the transcripts actually pin that down, because basically if you watch porn, God knows this isn't why you guys watch porn, but if you're, you live in Chicago and you're really lonely, um, <laughs> you tend to watch these things very carefully. And these things really were, I was actually talking to someone who actually knew them, the, knew the films pretty well, and you didn't really see anything quite like this, because say you went into a store. Say, if anyone went into Times Square and they said, excuse me, sir, where's the shit section? <laughs> you know, you would get, there's all sorts of, you know, you're going to look at the pictures and try and find something. It's degenerated. 
But this would be, you would take this home thinking you're just going to look at someone getting shit on, and then all of a sudden there was all this talking. So there was a lot of stuff going on, and Jamie really did actually care uh, about what was going on. He really, he almost at points wanted people to talk him out of it. But not in a sort of masochistic way, he just thought, you know, where's the argument here? Where is, you know, what is going on? So that's why they're transcripts. And basically, briefly, uh, I got to know Jamie, asked him, you know, I told him all these ideas, uh, never once said postmodern, and he uh, wrote introductions to each one. Then sadly, Jamie died about two years ago, and so I was stuck with writing an introduction about it. So the, the book is this weird sort of transcripts of porn, case, uh, pretty hard, and um, his opinions of that, and then my opinion. So the thing is, we're going to show a film that is just these edits. It's mostly just the talking. Sorry to disappoint. There is a brief moment where you'll see someone masturbating. So for those of you who want to stick around for that. Um, but that, that, this actually shows the idea where the, the sort of interaction. And I can show this and not talk anymore. So is it set up? Yeah, it's set up. Let's try and see if it sound comes in. Show this one. It's not, it's not very long. It's that short. It's about 20 yes, minutes. Yes, I thought, uh, in case you're getting bored, so you could just take it and show you what it looks like. It's just a state. It's just a state. It's just a state. This is as loud as it gets. I'm sorry. Yeah. To say. Yeah. 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 Yeah.